Samsung's One UI 8.0 is here, and it brings some exciting new improvements to the Gallery app that many users are going to love. Especially if you're someone who enjoys editing photos right on your phone, you'll be glad to know that Samsung has made the background blur feature smoother and more useful than ever before. Let's dive into what's new in the Gallery app with One UI 8.0. If you've been following the rollout of One UI 8, which is based on Android 16, you know that Samsung already released the beta version to the Galaxy S25 series. Since then, tech fans and developers have been checking out every part of the update to see what's new. We've already seen a bunch of new features, better performance, and bug fixes, but now we've got some fresh info about changes to the photo editor inside Samsung's Gallery app. Two major improvements have been found in the background. Blur section of the Gallery app. The first improvement is all about smoother transitions. If you've ever taken a portrait photo using your Samsung phone's camera, you probably know about the background effect option in the gallery. This lets you adjust how blurry the background of your portrait photo is. In One UI 7, moving the blur slider sometimes felt choppy, but now in One UI 8, Samsung has made this experience much smoother. As you slide through different blur levels, the transition between them looks clean and seamless. It gives a more professional feel to editing right on your phone. The second improvement is also quite handy. With One UI 8, you can now compare the original version of your photo with the edited one just by pressing and holding the image. This wasn't possible in One UI 7. So now, after applying a background blur, you can quickly check how it looks compared to the original version without having to undo anything. Just press and hold, and you'll see the original photo pop. Up, release it, and you'll be back to your edited version. It's a small but powerful feature that makes editing easier and more satisfying. These changes show that Samsung is really paying attention to the little things that make a big difference for users. Smoother transitions and the ability to compare photos easily both add to a better photo editing experience. Now let's talk a bit about who can try out One UI 8.0 right now. Samsung officially opened the One UI 8 beta program on May 28th for the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But there was a bit of a surprise. Just two days after launching the beta program, Samsung stopped accepting new users into it. Many people got a message saying the program was full. Normally, Samsung's beta programs stay open for several days or even weeks, but this time, the slots filled up fast. It could mean that Samsung had a lower number of spots available, or maybe there was just a huge demand from users wanting to try out the new update. But here's the interesting part. Even though people were told the program was full, some users later reported that they were still able to join. This suggests that Samsung may have increased the number of participants allowed in the beta program. It wouldn't be the first time they've done that. Usually, when a new beta version is released, like Beta 2, which may be coming soon, Samsung adds more users to the program. So if you weren't able to join the beta program the first time you tried, don't give up just yet. Open the Samsung Members app and check again. There's a chance more spots have opened up, and you might get in this time. On top of that, Samsung has also created One UI 8 beta program pages for the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S23 series. That means these phones could be next in line to receive the update. While we don't have exact dates yet for when other devices will get it, it's clear that Samsung is getting ready to roll One UI 8 out to more users soon. If you're using a Galaxy S25 phone and manage to get into the beta program, lucky you! If not, Keep an eye on the Samsung Members app. You still might get your chance. And if you're using a Galaxy S22 or S23 device, your wait may not be too long either. That's it for today's video. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you won't miss more One UI 8 news as it rolls out. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.